The 2024 Acura MDX. There are literally no changes for this new model year. The new MDX, it came out in 2022, and even in 2023, there weren't any crazy changes. What they offered was a two-year complimentary free maintenance service, and they gave you access to Acura Link for three years. That, that was the only two changes in 2023. And now for 24, the only change is the price went up by $300. <laughs> That's literally it. And the vehicle starts at $51,045, and that includes a delivery fee of $1,195. But this SUV is still worth talking about because this is the most affordable and the most obtainable large SUV that's currently on market, especially if you are interested in leasing. I personally like the A-Spec trim level, which cost $61,445. And that vehicle will lease out for around $750 a month, assuming you have perfect credit and you're doing a zero down four year lease. It actually goes down to like $650 a month if you do a one pay lease. And all of these numbers are significantly cheaper than a Volvo XC90, a BMW X5, or a Mercedes GLE. But I'll talk more about that towards the end of this video. For right now, for those of you who are not familiar with this SUV, we have a three and a half liter naturally aspirated V6 engine producing 290 horsepower and 267 pounds-feet of torque. I love the sound and the character of Honda's naturally aspirated V6. It's one of the best, but you can step up to the performance type S model that comes with a turbo three liter V6 producing 355 horsepower, 354 pounds-feet of torque. Both are mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission, which I'm not going to lie. The 10-speed is not the best transmission in the world. It's nothing like the 8-speed ZFs found in some of the European rivals, but it's okay for daily driving. Front-wheel drive comes standard with the more base models, and all-wheel drive is a $2,200 option on the base and the technology trim levels. When you go with the A-Spec or the Advance or the Type S, those SUVs are only available with all-wheel drive. And fuel economy with all-wheel drive for the regular MDXs, it's 19 city, 25 highway. For the Type S, you're gonna be getting 17 city, 21 highway. Another reason why I love the A-Spec is because you get the 16 speaker ELS audio system. This is well worth the price because it is truly one of the best audio systems I've ever listened to under six figures. Very impressive. You also get a, a lot of other useful features like ventilated front seats, some nice looking 20 inch wheels, etc. If you want to step up to the Type S, it starts at around 69 grand, but the Type S Advanced package is a little under 75 grand. So noticeably more expensive, but let's talk about those lease deals that I mentioned before. There is a resource that I personally like to use called Lease Hacker. It's one of the best forums that you can use to research any new car before you go out and buy it. And there are several brokers on that lease hacker forum where you can either pay a fee or they'll get paid a fee from the dealership when you go through them and one of those brokers is named Aranchi. i actually have no affiliation with this individual never talked to him never done any business with them but most of the top tier brokers on the lease hacker forum they're pretty trustworthy i wouldn't have an issue dealing with this person he's located on the east coast and he has Acura deals and you can go on his spreadsheet and click on the calculator section and that's where i found the numbers you know around 750 a month and 650 a month if you do a one pay lease and it would definitely be in your best interest if you can afford it to do a one pay lease because it drops your interest rate from five percent to around three percent and that is really powerful and some of you who are saying oh leasing will never work for me well you should make it work for you because if you do a traditional finance on a car you're totally getting screwed because the way the banks structure these automotive finance deals, well, along with uh, house mortgages as well, is they front load all of the interest. So even though you might get some promo rate from Acura Financial for like 5% finance for 72 months or 60 months, whatever it is, the first two or three years of you financing that car, you are making very little equity in the car and that's why so many people end up upside down on their car loans because what the bank is doing is they're collecting all of their interest in the first two three four years and that means when you default and they have to repo the car 
the bank already got their profit and now they're just gonna sell your car at an auction and recoup the rest. And this is why the banks are always winning in these finance situations. Whereas if you lease the car, all of those payments actually goes towards the equity of the car. For instance, you're probably gonna end up paying around 30 grand over the course of four years, but the majority of that 30 grand is genuinely going to go towards building equity. Now, I will say banks are getting more strict regarding their car leases. Some of them may not let you buy out the lease or some of them will limit you on where you can go to sell your leased vehicle. Like for instance, you may have to take the car to an Acura store to sell it. Like you might not be able to go to CarMax or Carvana or one of these places. So it's definitely something you still have to do more research on, but it's definitely worth knowing about this and implementing this into your life. Plus it's an obtainable way of putting nice cars on your driveway, especially this Acura, because in its class, a Volvo XC90 is gonna be over 800 a month, a X5 BMW, that's gonna be over a grand. So as you can see, this MDX is significantly cheaper. Although I will say the third row in this MDX is rather small. It's best suited for children. So if you're looking for a larger three row experience, this will not really satisfy most people. But if you just want a nice big, affordable luxury SUV like this A-Spec MDX, definitely worth looking into the lease programs. I remember I had one individual comment on one of my videos saying, oh man, I can't believe you're sharing lease hacker like that on your videos. And the reality is 80 to 90% of the people watching this will never implement anything that I'm saying in these videos and the other 10 to 20%, they'll end up forgetting everything I just said sometime tomorrow. So it's not really that big of a deal that I'm sharing this information with you, but for the two or three people who might actually take action on what I'm gonna say, I will leave all of these resources in the description box below, along with Auto Companion's free leasing calculator. Auto Companion is a broker that I'm actually affiliated with and partnered with. However, he doesn't have Acura cars, so don't even bother reaching out to him about Acuras. He does have Hondas though, I believe. But anyway, all that is gonna be linked in the description box below. You can check that out, run your own numbers, and hopefully, whether you use this information or not, I hope you appreciate these resources and this knowledge that I'm sharing because it's completely different from what you're gonna get from the mainstream outlets. They're never gonna share with you these types of resources like Lease Hacker and those brokers. I mean, they're offering 9% off MSRP on these MDXs. And if you qualify for Acura Loyalty, that's an additional $1,500. So I just shared with you how to take off five to $7,000 off of the MSRP of a very nice SUV. Hopefully you can appreciate that. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. But thank you again for your time. Take care and goodbye.